What's going on guys? Today we're talking all about elevator shoes and some of the things that you should know regarding design, construction, material choices, along with some of the benefits of wearing them. So stick around. Okay, welcome back. It's great to see you. And as always, I'm glad that you're here. So like I mentioned, today I wanna to go over some of the things that you should know about elevator shoes. If you're maybe looking into them for the first time or maybe you already wear them and you're considering an upgrade to maybe something new. All the shoes I'm gonna be showing you today are from Guido Maggi. They sent all the shoes I'm gonna be using as demos and they're also sponsoring today's video. So big thanks to them for supporting the channel and sending over a bunch of their shoes so I can show them to you. I've talked about Guido Maggi once before, and even apart from these being elevator shoes, they're probably the highest quality shoes that I own. The construction, the design, the materials that they use are among the best I think I've ever seen. They're incredibly impressive. Now, these are handmade, luxury, high quality Italian shoes, and the price reflects that. So I'm gonna put some links down below in the description to Guido Maggi, and I highly encourage you guys to just go see what they have to offer because as a niche company like this, it's absolutely incredible how many different styles and options they have on their website. You need to see this to believe it for yourself because it is mind boggling. And if this matters to you, I read that Robert De Niro and Al Pacino wear these shoes because if you didn't know, Robert De Niro is about five foot eight, and now Pacino is about five foot five, but either way, I don't think anybody would argue that both of these gentlemen are entertainment giants. All right, the first thing I want to discuss is the overall shoe design. Now, a lot more needs to go into the design of a height increasing or elevator shoe because your foot's in a different spot than it is in a normal shoe. Now, because your foot is placed higher up, the shoe has to be designed to accommodate that and still be comfortable. Now, not only does the shoe have to be comfortable, but in my opinion, the shoe should also be designed so it's not glaringly obvious that it's an elevator shoe. And I think these are probably the best designed and might I even say most stealthy elevator shoe I've ever seen. Now, when you're wearing an elevator shoe, your heel will be placed up a little bit higher than what you're used to on a normal shoe. So it does take a little getting used to when you're walking around for the very first time but the better the shoe design, the better that experience will be. The other thing to take into consideration is customization. For example, can I buy any particular brand of elevator shoe in various levels of lift, or is it just one size? I know that this shoe can be ordered in three different levels of lift, two and a half, two and three quarters, and three inches. This shoe is a three inch lift, and you can hardly even tell it's anything other than a regular shoe. So next is the style. So this gets back to the overall design of the shoe and it not being obvious that it's an elevator shoe. So just because you're wearing an elevator shoe, that doesn't mean that everyone needs to know it or that the shoe must be super ugly. So now obviously the lift has to come from somewhere. And if you do look close enough, you can tell that the shoe maybe looks a little bit different, but you can't quite put your finger on what it is. But most people are not looking at your shoes that closely. Guys, you can get elevator shoes today that look like regular sneakers, casual shoes, boots, and even dress shoes, and you can hardly tell the difference between these and a regular shoe or a regular boot. Now, obviously the main benefit of wearing height increasing shoes is the increased height. So other benefits of wearing elevator shoes are improved posture because they allow you to stand up straight with your shoulders back and square. Also for many people, the added height also helps boost confidence. Now, I'm not saying the only way to be more confident is to be taller, but look, in today's society that's ultra competitive, lots of guys are looking for really any advantage they can get, and if wearing height increasing shoes helps them feel better, look better, and have more confidence, I 100% applaud that. There's nothing wrong with it, and I say go for it. I mean, look, wearing a regular pair of boots with a big chunky heel makes you taller, and no one cares about that, so why should wearing a nice pair of shoes that make you taller be any different. Okay, like I mentioned, gentlemen, I'm gonna leave a few links down below to Guido Maggi in the description so you can go have a look for yourself and I encourage you to do so. Also, if you're a subscriber to my YouTube channel, and I hope that you are, I'll see you in just a few days for a brand new video. But until then, gentlemen, live well and I'll see you soon.